Yo, what's up? We are now, uh, well, actually, it's not too really relevant, but uh, we have a Volkswagen e up. It's a pretty small car. It's about 3.6 meters long. And today I'm going to show you the ID4's very good turning radius. So the turning radius in the ID, oh, sorry, the turning radius in the Volkswagen e up is 9.7 meters. And then a turning radius or circle, I think turning circle, right? In the ID4, which is a significantly larger car, is 10.2 meters. So it's slight, you see, what we're trying to show you here is that the ID4 is a way bigger car than the, than the e up. You can see it, uh, you see, I can show you here. We are actually, <laughs> you see here, it's poking out that way. It's poking out quite a lot this way. The reason I have mass now is because um, we have, a, well, it's not assistant, but this is, it's Harald uh, Eidbach uh, from, uh, from Mölle. He's going to drive the e up. Uh, he's the director of uh, Volkswagen Norway. But you see that the, the way larger uh, ID4 will actually have very, very good turning circle. And that means quite good nimbleness. And also in comparison, Volkswagen, uh, no, um, sorry, BMW i3, which is also a very, very common and popular car, also has about, was it 9.8? 9.86. Yeah, so actually the, the i, Nine point, so the i3 has 9.86, which is actually slightly worse than the e up. So the e up here has superb nimbleness. And now we're going to try with some cones. We're going to set it up and try to illustrate how it is between these two cars. <laughs> a small city car and a large family car. <laughs> you know, on paper, on paper, the e up is supposed to have smaller turning circle but practically it could look like they have almost the same turning circle <laughs> what the heck okay, one more time just to show you guys both cars are in full turn and the way bigger car which is rear wheel drive yeah, i should mention that the e up is front wheel drive so you can't have the same turning angle uh, so <laughs> this is crazy. This, what does this mean, really? It means that even the big, large family car. Okay, good, good. Yes, even the larger family car is highly maneuverable in the city. All right, it's been a couple of days, and now I'm going to try now the part two of this test. So this is a Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus, and it has slightly longer wheelbase than the id4 behind there but you know just to give an idea because i, I don't I, mean, I have the model less but that has even longer available base but this is actually also rear wheel drive but i think tesla they have designed it to be all wheel drive so they they can't have too high angle and too short and too small turning circle so um what i'm going to do i will set up the tripod and then we will compare now we're just going to do a circle here it's fairly nice and wide over here so see what i'm going to do now is that I have aligned the front wheel to be right on the strip here. And then you see it's, we are right here. So <laughs> it doesn't matter this way because we need to align both cars at the exact same spot. And now I'm going to turn and you will see. Okay, first out is Model 3. So what I'm going to do first is take a full turn to the left and then we just go. And then we should go in circle. Let's see now, how many spots does it take? Oh, what is that? Two and a half, so almost three spots. Okay. And then we should get back to exact same spot. Yeah, you see? Yeah. So that's the turning circle of the Model 3. So if we have like two, three, I have to count. It's kind of hard to see it from here. But yeah, we have to count from the outside. And now we are lined up the ID3 and do the exact same thing. Okay, same thing with ID4. I keep saying ID3, sorry. Every time I say ID3 is ID4. I've been driving ID3 so many times now. But anyway, full left turn. Oh, I can almost feel like steering wheel goes more, okay. And then let's see. Whoa, <laughs> what the heck? What? Oh, okay, the light goes on out the way. I wanna switch it. So, uh, 
It seems like you can't switch. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want the lights with this. Very good. Okay, it keeps going on, so it's gonna mess up the thing here a bit. But I feel like I'm almost driving the i3 or the or the Honda E. Wait, is it? Huh? Wow! <laughs> it's just so unreal that you have similar size cars, a Model Three, but um, that tight turning circle. So this makes it really easy. Uh, con convenient to maneuver the car into a parking lot or something you know or into your own garage or whatever so wow man wow let's just um watch this in replay in this weird uh, thing i just let lay, make an overlay of both and you can see the difference and it's freaking huge <laughs> wow. oh man you know yeah i'm gonna make a video about um why rear wheel drive electric cars should be rear wheel drive it per makes perfect sense tesla's been doing it from the start they maybe they didn't perfect the turning circle but uh, there are many many benefits of having rear wheel drive in an electric car whereas fossil cars because of the nature of a big fat engine and a, and a and a gearbox in the front then uh, fossil cars they are usually more front heavy so then it makes more sense to have um to have the the motor i mean to have yeah to have the the driving wheel on the front well maybe except for some sports car or or bmw and mercedes but um yeah so but pretty cool man this was uh, you know i wasn't aware of this until harald uh edwards and edbach the the director of uh, volkswagen told me about this i was like okay and then I look it up and then i also noticed that actually before he mentioned it i also noticed that the ID3, ID4 was easy to maneuver and you, you could just take a U-turn without having to take a three-point turn. So that's pretty cool, man. <laughs> so anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.